that target up there. A weasel never have to worry robbing your hen house. Hey, Henry, the thing is, you got to sort of take aim before you pull the trigger. You do this all the time. Can't think of nothing better. Got to fire five rounds a day or they think we ain't a soldier. Oh, well, my old sergeant would chew me out good if he thought... Only your first day, Lomax. Things is different here. Well, I know, but... What a man wants to do is make the war as comfortable as possible. What are you waiting for, Willie? You keep your shirt on, Henry! What was that? Picket post. Hey! That ain't bad for a ram! There. You see? Them fellas ain't as bad as they make out. No matter what old Maddox is. You know, if it wasn't for... How many times have I told you not to have no truck with them Yankees across that river? Well, they yelled first, and all I did was answer. It ain't your business to answer them. It's your business to kill them. Well, there weren't no battle going on. Oh, battle my foot. There's been a battle going on with them Yankees ever since Fort Sumter. And don't you two yahoos forget it either. Now, you listen here to me, Private Willie Prentice. You so much as squeak one word to them Yankees across that river, I'll have you up in front of a summary court martial so fast your empty little head's gonna spin like a mill wheel. You got that? Yes, sir. Don't serve me. I'm a sergeant. No, sir. Uh, no, sergeant. Just keep in mind now, this ain't no Sunday sociable at Frying Pan Church. Where did you say? Frying Pan Church, sir. Where you come from? Nowden County? Yeah. Yeah, what? This is an officer. Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, sir. How long have you lived in Frying Pan Church, Willie? All my life, sir. You know the country? Yes, sir. I trapped it all. Clean from the Blue Ridge to the Potomac. That's my business, trapping. Uh, sir. Well, it sure ain't a soldier, and... That best be going, Lieutenant. We're mightily. I may see you later, Willie. Yes, sir. Coffee drinker? Wait now. You heard what old Maddox said? Oh, man, I I'd... cleaned down the headquarters by now. How much tobacco you got? All right, Henry! Bring your coffee over! Lomax? You get one whiff of that coffee. You'll be ready to swap. Come on. Give me your hand, Walmart. If we get caught, this is none of my doing. Get flash off and do like I tell you. Somebody's coming. It's old Maddox. Good Christopher. Henry! Henry's back! Pull back! I asked him to come on over! He's a Yankee! 
am I doing, Willie Prentice? Lieutenant? Lieutenant, sir. I was doing my duty! Lieutenant. I never had my hand on the gun, even. You did it, Willie. You grabbed it out of my hand and that... Shut up, Lomax! They asked me. I'll testify. I said shut up! He's alive. Well, that don't make no difference. You shoot an officer, you get hung. Bo Maddox is say his piece of the trial. Lieutenant. And... Please, Lieutenant. Wake up, will you? I didn't mean it, sir. Honest. I'm going, Willie. I'm going to light out. We, we don't stand a chance, neither of us. Go on. Get! Worse than it is. Willie? What's going on over there? Anybody over there? What happened to Willie Prentiss? He just shot a lieutenant. That's all. Sooner or later, anyhow. Shooting lieutenant and deserting my post. I got no chance in the world. How are they gonna know it wasn't a Yankee raid, huh? We could have captured you, shot the lieutenant. How are they gonna know we didn't? Suppose we help you get started. Head south. You find yourself a brand new Reb army to join up with. As uh, far away from here as you can get. Well, I don't see how... Tell him you got captured. Managed to escape. And you couldn't find your old outfit. We're all gonna end up in a guardhouse, all three of us, just side by side. Well, here. You wanna shoot him, then? Now, wait a minute. No reason getting you two in trouble. Willie, this ain't your war, you. You got lots more growing up to do. There's lots better places to do it. I joined up. Didn't nobody make me do it. You find yourself a tater peeling job in a nice, peaceful army. So far south, you won't even hear. Shh. It's our relief. Uh, get, get down there. Keep out of sight. Bring tidings, gentlemen. 
I bring news straight from the Fount of Wisdom. Huh? Companies transferred to the Middle Military Division. Fairfax Courthouse, General Stoughton. Move out next Monday. Oh. Hey. Hey, what you got? Tobacco? First Virginia. You know, you was talking about Fairfax Courthouse. That's right near where I come from. House where I was born ain't more than seven miles away. The thing we got to do now is get him through to Bedford Forest so he can start making his way south. Well, well how are you going to do that? I got a plan. It ain't easy. But we got to get him out of here tonight. One minute later, one minute, they'd have dragged my wagon off and got everything I had in here. What you know? I know one thing. They're after my liquor. Liquor? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't josh me now, would you? Well, I thought you fellas quit carrying this stuff. Well, Captain, fellas got to make a living. <laughs> Now I'll take your guns and horses. Own your boots. And naturally the prisoner. Wish you'd tell me where we're going. Well, you'll find out soon enough. Who? Matter of fact, right now. I get my way, we're gonna grind you up for cat meat. Move! Willie Prentice! Yes, sir! You know, sir, a sergeant! <laughs> Disarm him, Sergeant? I'd like to dishead him, sir. 
By the time I get through with him, he might just welcome that. About what happened, sir? I'm sorry. You know what I ought to do with you, boy? I ought to send you back to your unit. Let him hang you as a deserter. Yes, sir. You realize that's what you deserve, don't you? Yes, sir. Only it wasn't as bad as it looks. That's not for you to decide. No, sir. Can you think of anyone in the world that's got more problems than you do right now, Prentice? No, sir. Well, there is. For instance, my job. My job is to make it so hot for the Yankees that they'll put more men to watching me than General Lee has south of the river here. To do that right, I need a guide, a man who knows the country. Sir, could I say something? Most everyone old enough to ride is already off to war, or too old to do me any good. Sir? And the only young man I can find in a hurry who really knows this country isn't a man at all. He's a deserter. Who makes friends with the enemy and did his level best to kill me the first day we ever met. You mean me, sir? Unfortunately, yes. Boy, we need someone who knows this back country, not just the roads and byways. Where do you think I did my trapping? We know where you did your trapping. That's why you're here. Well, Prentice, what's it going to be? You want to be hanged now and get it over with? Or have you got the guts to stick it out and fight with me? If you want me to, sir, because I mean... I'm going to tell you something, boy. The first time you let me down, you'll wish you'd have been hanged. Yes. Sir! Sir! Better take a message south, sir. To General Fitz Lee. Tell him I found a man to serve as my guide. And we'll start recruiting Yankee horses immediately. Yes, sir. Emphasis, gentlemen. We don't want to sensationalize, now do we? We don't want to misinform the people about Mosby, throw them into a panic over nothing. Altogether, he took uh, how many horses, Sergeant? Sixteen, sir. You're treating this like the Battle of Antietam. It's happening pretty regular, General. Only because I choose to ignore him, sir. Concentrate on more important matters. If I decide to move against him, I will flatten him just like that. Man's really mad. Says he's going to burn the town. Bluster. How do you know it's bluster? Because he's a windbag, General. He has no intention. Just a minute, Lieutenant. I know Ed Stoughton. I went through the academy with him. Well, that don't necessarily make him a windbag. This helps, though. General Stewart, sir, may I suggest that what Stoughton says is true? 
This is brigandage. General, sir. Lieutenant, you have placed me in a position of endorsing the operation of a band of buccaneers. Your command, sir, bids fair to become a haven for every deserter, plunderer, and skulker in the army of Northern Virginia. The point is, in Middleburg, are you or me or Fitz here? But you have 15 of our best cavalrymen, and we're hurting for them something fierce. General Stewart, those 15 men are tying down 20 times their numbers in Yankees. Yankees that you'd have to fight on the Rappahannock. Permit me to question that, Lieutenant. I want those men back with me, General. I can't operate without them. I know there are two sides to this, Lieutenant Mosby. However, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go along with Fitz here. But General Stewart, don't you'll you You'll have those men here by the 10th. And you'll personally report to me for reassignment. That's all, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. I tried my best. I used every argument I could think of, but those are the orders. Look at all the horses we got for Lee's brigade. What kind of thing? Seventy-four in the last three weeks. You don't get medals for stealing horses in this country, no matter whose horses they are. Now, for us to stay alive, we... We've got to pull something that'll stand them on their heads from Washington to Richmond and all the points in between. Stop him. They set such a great store with him around here. So eternally terrified of him? He's got his picket posts so close together they could join hands clean around Fairfax. Except for Possum Crick. But if we could just get through. What did you say, Willie? There's a half mile gap in the picket lines of Possum Crick. Where? Right here. New York Fifth on both sides. There's a gully here so full of wild blackberries, they figure no one try to go through. You think we could get through? Yes, sir. You know, Willie, if you're wrong about this, it won't just be a Yankee sergeant this time. It would be our whole command. Sir, are we going to take on 10,000 federal troops? How's that ache in your bad knee, Sam? Uh, what do you mean, sir? Rain. We've got just one chance, but we'd have to have some rain. Two or three hours of rain just before midnight. Sam, get word to the men. We'll meet tonight at nine o'clock at Rector's Crossroads. If it's clear, we'll... we'll start south to Culpeper. Maybe if it rains, maybe something else. Yes, sir. All right, men. You all know where we stand. Our orders are to report to Culpepper for reassignment. We're soldiers, all of us, in or out of the army. And as soldiers, we'll obey those orders. I had hoped that we might be given more time to prove ourselves. But I don't think we're going to get that time. You regular men, report to Brigadier General. We're going to call Peppa, but we're going to be going the long way around. All right, men, let's ride. Come on, Willie. Where are we going? We're going to Fairfax. Fairfax? Yes. Fairfax. You mean Yankee headquarters? That's right. Well, they got 10,000 men around that town. What are we going to do in Fairfax? Boys, even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Let's hey, go. Boys, we're going to Fairfax. <laughs>
trouble with a night like this. A man can't tell a rib from the Yankees. Exactly. Still, we'll back off until they start. Darn near lost you. Had a little sense of trouble. Where's that kid taking us? No idea. Me neither. I just soon jump off a cliff is what we're doing. Be quicker. go through a foot. All right, dismount. Pass the word back. No talking with you. Dismount. Pass it back. Dismount. Pass it back. Must be in Possum Creek. That's a New York fifth. All here? Yes, sir. And then some. We got two more than when we started. You sure? Thirty-one altogether. New 
York 5th Cavalry Patrol. Advance to be recognized. It's Mosby, they're rats! Mosby, they're rats! Hold it right there, Henry. One big mistake in my life was pulling you across that river. Oh, I don't know. I should have. Left you there to get hung. If I ever left another finger to help I a I wouldn't worry about it. You may not live that long. What are you gonna do with me? Only one thing I can do. Take you as a prisoner of war. Jenkins, his name is. 12th Pennsylvania. Hmm. Looks harmless. Main thing is to keep an eye on him till sunup. Then you can turn him loose. All right. I found it. Thank you. Careful, Mom. It's loaded. Oh. I don't know if I can set this thing off. Where is the thingamajig? Oh, you just uh, point it at his head and pull this. Thanks. Maybe you won't even have to shoot him. It's not a bad sort for a Yankee. Willie Prentice, when I get out of this, so help me. Makes a lot of noise, but it don't add up to much. Oh, this here is Cousin Orly, Henry. You'd be real nice to hear you here. When you get back to headquarters, you can tell him I left it tied up in the bushes. It took you all night to wiggle free. I'd rather get shot than have General Stoughton hear how you captured me. Maybe you won't have to. I... You take good care of me, Isabella. I gotta fix it so old Stoughton won't pick on him in the morning. I wish you luck, Willie. And you take care of yourself, hear me? Good night, Henry. Orly. Good night. You know, uh, Willie really told me about the Yankee soldier who saved his life. But I never expected I'd ever meet him. Yeah, lots of things seem to work out the way we didn't expect them to.
Wendy? Andy? Anything wrong? <laughs> who goes there? First Virginia? I said, who goes there? Well, I told you, First Virginia. Now, you be a good Yankee. Help us run off those horses. Out of the earth no true contentment springs, but all things here are vexing vanity. For what is beauty but a fading flower? Or what is pleasure but the devil's bait, whereby he catcheth whom we would devour, and multitudes of souls doth ruinate? And what are friends but mortal men as we, whom death we must make quickly separate? Or else their hearts may quite estranged be, and all their love be turned into hate. What's wrong? Don't you like the poetry? I'm just worried about uh, Stoughton. Uh, what he'll say. A little hard to relax. Mm. Well, I suppose it won't hurt to tell you what uh, William Mosby and the rest are up to. They're fixing to kidnap General Stoughton. And if they pull it off, then you won't have to face him. See, where was I? And what are friends but mortal men as we, whom death from us may quickly separate, or else their hearts may quite estranged be, and all their love be turned into hate? For General Stout. He's asleep. Who are you? Message from General Halleck. Let me see your identification. I don't have time for that. I almost killed that horse bringing this here, and I intend to deliver it. Now. It better be urgent. Come on, wake up in there. Oh, see here, soldier. Message for the general. I'll handle it. It's personal. I said I'll handle it. All right, Captain, now let's go see the general. This is war, Captain. Please. Please. I'm sorry. Sorry, General. Very, very sorry. I have a message for you, sir. What is the meaning of this? You, sir, what do you think? Message? What message? Mosby, sir. You mean you've caught him? Oh, no, sir. He caught you. I don't understand it, sir. We seem to have been taken without a shot being fired. That's preposterous. Yes, sir. That's exactly what I said. You're Mosby, serving under General Fitzhugh Lee? Yes, sir. Fitz, he was a classmate of mine at the academy. I'd appreciate your taking me to General Fitzhugh Lee at once. That's just what I was going to do, General.
want you to know that just this one night, being with you and your mother, it's the nicest thing ever happened to me. Well, for a Yankee, you're the nicest one I've ever held captive. You think maybe tomorrow, when I get up... Oh, stop here! Sergeant Greg. I figured they got him for sure. Uh, now, don't let him scare you. Sergeant! I was afraid they'd done you in. That'll be the day. What happened to you? Me? Well, I, I tried to make a break for it. About six or eight of them come after me. I fought them off as long as I could, but they finally got me gagged and blindfolded and tied and uh, took me all night to wiggle loose. Then when I started walking in, this young lady come along and give me a ride. You're a cousin of Willie Prentice, aren't you? Willie Prentice was one of them that jumped us. And then his cousin shows up driving you in. There's something funny going on around here. Well, then you do the laughing, Yankee. Because I'm not amused. Headquarters is going to want to know anything you saw or heard. Them uh, Rebs, uh, do you want anything special after getting in here? Oh, they just kidnapped General Stout. Made a clean getaway, that's all. What are you smiling at? Me, Sergeant? I'm just happy. Happy to find you up and around. One thing I'll say. As long as they're gonna make off with somebody. <laughs> He's had more than ample time to get here. He'll be here. Of whom are you speaking? Uh, Mosby. The partisan? Yes, sir. Saw a subject with your nephew here. Fitz, you, do you disapprove of Mosby? I most certainly do, sir. I consider some of his activities hardly within the realm of proper military conduct. I didn't see you turn down any of the horses he's been sending this way. Excuse me, sir. There's a... An officer outside to see General Fitzhugh Lee. What officer? Uh, General Stoughton, sir, from Fairfax Courthouse. That's what he insists, sir. General who? You gentlemen know each other? My compliments, General Lee. Lieutenant Mosby, maybe you ought to fill us in. Yes, sir. We happened to be going through Fairfax, and we stopped to see the general here. He insisted on being taken to General Fitzhugh Lee. You happened to be passing through Fairfax? Yes, sir, on our way back to Culpeper for reassignment. From my impression of you at the academy, I never would have believed you could indulge in such unmilitary shenanigans. I'm sorry, General. I tried to tell him it wasn't your idea, but he wouldn't believe me. Lieutenant, will you tell me, how did you get to Fairfax Courthouse in the first place? How did you get past the federal pickets? Well, sir, that's a rather fascinating story, General Lee. I'm surprised at you, Pitts. Before you reckon them ripples would go, there wasn't no bank to stop it. I never thought of it. Clean to China, most likely. Just get bigger and bigger until they took over the whole world. Preacher told me once that uh, there's a special meaning to uh, circles and rings. Did you ever hear that? Hey, what's that? Well, come on, show me. What's my mother's wedding ring? Do you always carry it with you? 
Someday I'm going to meet the right girl. Huh? I just want to be ready. Uh, Henry, I expect you better climb on your horse and ride back to camp so I can wash my hair. Or a lead. You know what we talked about yesterday. We picked the wrong time is all. It's a lot of other wrong things. Well, not really, because because we didn't pick. Nobody asked us where we want to be born or did we want to be on different sides. Please, Henry, I think you'd better go. See you tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, not ever again. Laura Lee. I thought about it for a long time last night, and that's just how it's got to be. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Fact is, I'm going away. I'm going to stay a spell with Aunt Sarah at Frying Pan Church. Just to make sure. You think I couldn't ride that far? Well, it's not a healthy place for a Yankee soldier all alone. I've never been one to take a whole platoon along when I go calling. getting big enough to ride with us. Make sure some more she got. Why don't you get him out of sight? Willie? Ma! Oh, Willie. Oh, it's good to have you home. Oh, oh, this has been a day of surprises. What, with Aura Lee come to stay a spell? Yeah? Well, she wouldn't tell us a thing, except she just come to pay for a visit. So we... I had to put her in the room. Oh, Willie. Willie, can I fix you something to eat, sir? No, thanks, Ma. I'll go up and say hello to Orly. Oh, now, careful what you say to her. She starts bawling if you just look at her. Orly? Orly, it's Willie. Please go away. Orly, what's wrong? Just leave me alone, will you? Sure, I just wanted to ask you about Henry Jenkins. He didn't cause you no trouble that night, did he? Why did you ever bring him here? What do you mean? Hey, what'd he do? Well, he, he come back to see me a few times. And at first, I, I just felt sorry for him. And then I... Raleigh. You mean you and Henry? We didn't mean to. I care for him so that I'm sick inside. Orly Prentice. You mean to tell me you went and fell in love with a Yankee? You said he was your friend. Well, I ain't in love with him. Mossy and the others. They're not going to find out. Well, this is no time for you to go falling yourself in love with no Yankee. No matter whose friend he is, this is no time. I know it's no time. That's why I'm here. So I wouldn't weaken and let him come back and see me. ways it's no Yankee.
good for bear. Orly Prentice, you got no idea what a mess you're in. No idea. Oh, you shouldn't have come. Stay here. I'll get rid of him. Just pay no attention. He come to see me. You think I brung these things for you? Come to the barn with me, Hammy Jenkins. We got things to talk over. But I'm... I... Hammy Jenkins, what do you mean, showing up here in them rented store clothes? Do you know what's good for you? I to brung to... these things for Orly. I mean to see she gets them. I gotta ask you straight. Why are you keeping after her this way? You the man of the family? I sure am. You uh, trying to find out if my intentions are honorable? Is that it? So help me, Henry, I ought to bust you. I try to talk to you... these for you. You're lovely. Oh, ain't much, but that's what they could do in Alexandria. Thank you, Henry. Just had to see you once more, no matter what. <clears throat> I don't like to butt in, but it's uh, getting kind of late. I, I just got scared we were getting in over our heads. Don't say that. <clears throat> and it's a fur piece back to Fairfax. Don't you ever go away from me again. Not ever. To, don't you see? No, I don't see nothing but you. If you'll excuse me. Big bad old Yankee. even have told you. Maybe it don't matter to you. You got no family. What about all of Orly's kinfolk? Ma and Uncle Ferd? How are they gonna feel when she run off and married a Yankee? Feel any way they like. I don't care. They had their chance to get married when they wanted to. Well, one thing. No cousin of mine's gonna run off, start a lot of gossip and eyebrow lifting. If you're gonna go through with it, you and Orly are gonna have a regular family-type wedding. Oh! What are you trying to do? Line me up for a family-type hanging? We can have a wedding at our place, and I'll be what? best man. You come down in your rented store clothes like you are now, nobody gotta know you're a Yankee. Now, wait a minute. Show up barely you... in time for the wedding. You and her ride off soon as it's over. You wouldn't have to talk much to anybody. <laughs> should change. The wedding shirt costs a dime more on account of the fancy work. Yeah, I guess it don't amount to too much over the course of a lifetime, huh? I don't like to interrupt. You know how busy you must be. Figure to leave about noon tomorrow. Too bad. You ain't going nowhere, Corporal. My papers are all made out. Captain signed them three days ago. You better go talk to him. Can't do it. He can do anything he wants. Henry? Corporal Henry Jenkins, sir. What is it, Corporal? Sergeant Gregg just told me about, about the... About the furloughs, yes. Yes. Well, I've canceled all furloughs. You... I understand you went with Sergeant Gregg a few times. Keeping a lookout on that uh, house at Frying Pan Church. That's supposed to be the home of one of Mosby's men. Yes, sir. But you haven't been with Sergeant Gregg lately. 
No, sir, I... Uh, that's too bad, Corporal, because there's been some strange goings on. Awful lot of people coming and going. From what Sergeant Gregg can find out, there's going to be a wedding there tomorrow afternoon. Now, can you guess who's going to be at that wedding, Corporal? Every man Jack of Company F is going to be at that wedding, Corporal, as uninvited guests. Now, it looks like it's going to be a big event from all the fuss they're going to. There's probably going to be every important rebel of Northern Virginia there. <laughs> and they think that they can pull it off right underneath our noses like they're horse stealing. All right. We'll see who has the last laugh this time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Get the black saddle and ready. I don't like this, Corporal. Next time, you give me some warning. Won't be no next time. Now, hurry. Going somewhere with you, Corporal? Something I gotta do. I just gotta. Like, uh, getting a message to Mosby? Tell him what you just learned from the captain. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm stupider than most, but I managed to get things figured out. Give me enough time. Like what? Like you and Willie Prentice down in the Rappahannock together. What do you mean, together? I was on one side of the river, he was on the other. But he didn't stay on the other side. And when you run into him in a stable at Middleburg, you come out and tell me he's just a harmless stable boy. You don't understand. No? Maybe I'm just beginning to. Is that how Mosby's been making monkeys out of all of us? You've been getting word through to this Prentice kid about every move we're gonna make? You calling me a traitor? You got a better name for it. <laughs> his cousin is gonna get married up to some rev hero that you corporal you're that big rev hero i'm a good soldier greg just as good as you i've held to my oath ain't nobody ever learned one word from me i ought to press charges against you like you in the guardhouse but i'd rather have you with us when when i ride down to that wedding tomorrow I'd rather see for myself just what kind of Union soldier. Right up with a gun in my hand? The day of my wedding? I won't do it. Oh, yes, you will. You will. You and nobody else are gonna get the word down there ahead of time. Scare the bait out of the trap. You suppose Willie Prentice won't be down there at his cousin's wedding? Some other Mosby men? Maybe even Mosby himself. We ain't never gonna get a better chance than this. Obadiah, we've never had a Yankee informer in Fairfax. Mm, Sergeant Shaw seemed to think so. I decided I'd best let you know, just in case. Well, at least we'll know to stay away from that wedding. Willie, this man that your cousin is going to marry, 
He's a blockade runner from Baltimore, isn't that right? Well, that's kind of a loose way of putting it. You mean what he really is is a Yankee soldier from Fairfax. You knew that and you never told anybody. You mean to say you were going to let Sam and me walk into something like that? Well, you see, the thing is, my kin folks wouldn't have stood for it if they'd know the truth. And he ain't a bad sort for a Yankee. He the one you told me pulled you across the river? And he's not the man you did in that night in Fairfax. I thought you it's told... It's all my fault, Captain, sir. So let me ride back and tell Ma everything. Get the wedding called off. I should never let it get started. Then I'll ride back here. Whatever you want to do with me, that's all right with me. What I decide to do with you, Private Willie Prentice, I'll do. And I don't much care whether it's all right with you or not. Do you understand that? I don't think we're going to call that wedding off. No, sirree, I don't think we're going to mention one word of it. We just found out. Willie, you, uh, you claim to be a trapper. Did you ever stick your foot in your own trap after you had it set? No, sir. Well, let's hope that by tomorrow night, Captain Blazer won't be able to say the same thing. Sam! Get the word around. I want every man we've got at the Four Corners north of the Prentices two hours before that wedding. I want them mounted. And I want him ready for the biggest fight we've ever had. Yes, sir. How long to go? An hour. Lieutenant, take a detail. Scout ahead. Sergeant. How you doing, Corporal? Never better. Forward! Coming over the notch right now. Be fetching up the apprentice's place in a half an hour, maybe less. If we move up there, we can hit him from both sides. Not enough cover. I want him right here. In these woods, they can't tell whether we're 50 or 500. You figure you can draw him up this way? If I can give them an interesting enough target. Just ain't the kind to miss his own wedding without a word. Maybe he and Willie got slowed up somewhere together. Oh, they'll be here. Mrs. Prentice. I am. Captain Blazer, United States Cavalry. I assume, ma'am, you have some notion of the business we're here for. 
No, I do not, Captain. I have reason to believe that a number of Mosby's men are assembled here. I suggest, ma'am, that you advise them to come out peacefully. Not a Mosby man anywhere, Captain. See for yourself. We intend to. What about your son, Willie? Now, I'm not going to force you into a lie, Mrs. Prentice. We know he's one of Mosby's men. Now, we have an open order to burn to the ground the house and the outbuildings of any southern sympathizer sheltering Mosby or any member of his command. Perhaps you didn't... I heard you, Captain. I would like to interrogate the prospective bridegroom. He's not here. Where is he? I don't know. Very well, ma'am. Sergeant Gregg! You! Search the house. Yes, sir. All right, Corporal, let's go. Corporal! Sorry, miss, you gotta go outside. There's a war run.
Prentice! This side! Badly hurt, sir. I don't think he's ever going to make it to call, Papa. All right, we'll have to leave him behind. All right, men, let's move. I could take him in, sir. See that he gets took care of and catch up with you later. Do you mind, Private Prentice, if I give the orders? No, sir. Except he needs help real bad. Miss Prentice, we have a soldier who needs help. Quiet down. Right now, it doesn't matter what kind of a uniform he's got on. He's just a young soldier and he needs help. Thank you. He's got no right around here, Orly. That's all. Yeah, he's he's all. Get him out of here. Somebody get him out. He caused all this. Hush up. Hush up, I said. Hush up. Hush up, every last one of you. Now, this boy is bad. Hurt. Homer, I want you to go find Doc Burnett. Now, I don't care where he is. But I want you to find him, and I want you to bring him back here. Now, do you understand that? I'll get him. You're going to be all right, Henry. Everything's going to be all right. He can't be all right, Orly. Don't you understand? Watch you leave him out there, help any angle. It could have been me being brought back instead of him. It could have been me. He pulled back. He didn't want to shoot when he saw it was me. That's when he got it. Except for that. I'm leaving the prisoner in your custody, miss. I uh, understand you've had some experience in that sort of thing. I won't let him escape from me again, sir. I promise you that. You get yourself well, Henry Jenkins. This war ain't gonna last forever. I'm still gonna be best man at your wedding. Willie. Really? 